In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can remap any key on your keyboard into a Copilot key. But first, I want to answer the question of why would you bother to do this? Well, Microsoft has announced that they're going to start releasing computers with a dedicated Copilot key because they're really doubling down on AI. But if you don't want to upgrade your computer or upgrade your keyboard and you still want access to this function, I'll show you how to do that right now. With that being said, let's get into this. So you can see here where on my computer and we are going to install an application called Power Toys. You, there's two ways of getting Power Toys. The first one is through the Microsoft Store. But if this doesn't work, which I don't think it will, I'll show you the other way as well. So we're here on the Power on the Microsoft Store and we're simply going to search for Power Toys. You'll see here Microsoft Power Toys is a developer tool. It's actually developed by Microsoft Corporation and simply hit install. And if it works on your computer, amazing. My computer has been having a little bit of trouble right now downloading it. So I'll show you another way to get around it. So what we're going to do is go over to the web browser and simply type in Power Toys. I'll link all these down in the description below as well for you. Uh, and then I'm going to select on the first option, which is Microsoft Power Toys at learn.microsoft.com. From here, the big blue button says install Power Toys and we're going to select on this. And this is going to take us to the install options. We're going to select on the second link from the top install via GitHub. And then we're going to go into the top link, visit Microsoft Power Toys uh, release page. So we're going to select on this link. I'll put this link in the description down below so it's easy for you to find. And then from here, you're simply going to select on whether you want it per user for x86 or for ARM or machine wide. Uh, I'm going to go machine wide this option here for my Intel based uh, laptop. And I'm simply going to select on the download button. Power Toys is going to start to download and then we're just going to open this up once it's ready. Now you'll be met with the Power Tools installer. I'm going to simply select on I agree and then I'll choose install. And this will take a couple of minutes to install on your laptop. Power Toys is actually a really, really powerful tool. There's so much in here that I'm not going to go through today, but I would recommend playing around with it because there are some very cool things you can do with Power Toys and just enhance your Windows experience. Now let's select on close. Because I previously had Power Tools uh, installed, you see I now have that little blue cursor and the dots when I click on my uh, my mouse. So it's saved the previous um, previous settings here. To access Power Toys in the bottom right hand corner, select on the little up arrow to show you hidden icons, and then you'll find Power Toys down here as well. So let's open this up. And then this is the general Power Toys dashboard. We're gonna scroll all the way bottom. You can see there's a lot here, but we're gonna select on the option of keyboard manager. We're gonna turn on the option of enable keyboard manager, which allows us to do things like remapping. And then we're simply gonna select on the top option of keys, or you can even use the second option of shortcuts. For today, I'm gonna to use remap a key. And that's what we're doing. We're going to choose a key here to remap. So if I go select a key, it's going to ask me to select that key. I'm going to go select. It's going to ask me to ask which key it is. I'm going to select on the control key on my keyboard. You're going to see here it's going to pop up control right. I'm going to OK. That is the right key. And then what would I want it to do? I'm going to actually say select. And then I'm going to tell it to use the Windows and C, which is the Copilot keyboard shortcut, and simply select on OK, and then go OK again. You are gonna get this warning, but that's fine. Just go continue anyway. And now when I select on the control option on my right keyboard, you will see my copilot is gonna start appearing on the right hand side. And I've just remapped a copilot key on my keyboard. So it's really that easy. If you've also got a laptop and a few other um, computers, you can actually remap several keys to do this or other shortcuts you're after. One setting I thought of after I filmed that video was to make sure you enable Power Toys to start up when your laptop turns on so your key is always enabled. So to do this, we're going to open up Power Toys again. We're going to select on the general, so the second tab on the top, and then we're going to scroll down to where it says appearance and behavior and then turn on the button that says run at startup. So if this is turned off, you just wanna make sure you have that turned on. It runs in the background. It doesn't take up a whole lot of uh, memory or CPU usage, but this means your Copilot key will always be active as soon as you turn your computer on. But there you go. It is that easy to remap any key to be a Copilot key on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. 
If you like this video, let me know by giving the thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.